Hey there, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Thank you so much for joining me here today. So let's take a look into your love connection with your person of interest. Please just take what resonates for you since it's a general reading. Anything that doesn't seem right for you, just leave it. Okay, there will be an extended reading available today for those of you who feel like this reading is meant for you or a lot of it resonates. So that's linked below. All right. Scorpio, let's go into it. What is your overall energy in this connection with your person? We have justice. The nine of wands. And the six of cups. And on their side, person's side, we have the six of swords. We have the Ten of Coins and the Queen of Coins. Let's get the connecting energy. The Eight of Swords. I feel like this person is wanting to move things forward and put in the work with you. It looks like they are wanting to move slowly but short, surely toward a commitment with you or maintain the commitment if you guys you know, have one. Let's clarify the Six of Swords. And maybe smooth something over again because I feel like they want things to be smooth sailing. I feel like they really see a future with you because they see you as really great long-term relationship material. So they're like, I don't want to do anything to rock the boat or mess things up with you, Scorpio. Oh, look at this, the Two of Cups. Yeah, this is the destination they're headed for. They definitely want a union with you or a maintenance of this union and commitment. And for you, Scorpio, I feel like you're like never say die or something like that here because with the six of cups this is someone you feel is a true soulmate for you someone who um touches you at a level that other people just don't get so i feel if you guys aren't committed yet um you are just like not giving up you're like i really want to make this work here so the eight of swords both of you feel like kind of at a standstill like you can't progress right now there are things that are holding you back, both of you back that you wish weren't there. The Ace of Swords just split from the deck. So there could be, this could be you guys holding back your truth, both of you holding back truth from each other, just because um, you feel that you just can't be honest with each other fully for whatever reason. Maybe you're waiting for clearance of like other relationships or just other situations. Yeah, here's death. I, I feel like there needs to be things on one or both sides that need to end in order for you guys to clear the air here and be able to speak more of your truth to one another. I feel like there's been just more an intuitive understanding of one another up to this point rather than a lot of super clear communi communication on what's going on between you two. Here's the firmament. This is the star for you, Scorpio. So that's a beautiful card. So it looks like you really do have high hopes for this connection. I feel like you've done a lot of healing. You're in a really good place, Scorpio. Wounded warrior. So maybe you've been through some difficult relationships, but you feel your intuition is telling you this person feels safe. And it gives you hope for the future. Here's mischief. This is like the devil. So it could be this person, especially who's stuck in a situation that they need to clear. It's not at like really in their best interest. They're working on stepping more into their power as the emperor here. All right, what else is going on on your side, Scorpio? Twin Flame, this is a divine counterpart connection. So yeah, just whatever you call it, this is definitely a special soul connection. Maybe like a once in a lifetime feeling. Retreat, a time alone or in nature will help you recharge. Yeah, I feel like this goes along with the Six of Swords. I feel like this person likes to spend a lot of time alone just to kind of um, collect their thoughts and make sure they're always showing up in their best energy for you, for others. So it's something that's really pretty admirable about them. Okay. We have true love. Oh my gosh, this is the romance of a lifetime. I was just saying, like, this is a once in a lifetime kind of connection. And here's express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Okay, so maybe you're considering opening up more of this truth here, not holding back your words, Scorpio. And you're so intuitive, you know, you, if you just take a little time to, to feel into how they're going to respond, that, and that can direct your communication. 
Okay, so you have, you know, you have that special intuition power that a lot of people don't have. Uh, retreat. We have two retreats here. That's crazy. It's time to disconnect from the world. Yeah, that, this person could be feeling really overwhelmed with what's going on in their life. So if they, they withdrawn, I feel like it's because they're dealing with whatever this um, devil card is all about right now. So they're like, be right back. I just got to deal with something because I really feel like their heart is with you. I, I dream about you a lot too much. All right, Scorpio. Yeah, you guys are just really sweetly in love with this person. Okay, and for them, we have, I have so much desire for you. Wow. So that's the first of the real fiery passion coming through for you here. Seek professional advice. And you make my heart full. All right, so this is a confirmation here. They add that this person has a lot of feelings for you. They have a lot of desire for you, apparently. To seek professional advice. Perhaps some of them have even gotten like tarot reading on this connection with you. Here is the Knight of Coins. I feel like this is someone who, if they feel like their relationship is like falling apart, they would want to get um, like counseling, professional advice on it because this is someone who's very solid and loyal and wants to go the distance with someone just like you do here. Okay, here is the Knight of Wands. This could even be a card of going the distance, like literally um, going across like the world, going across countries, the world. So they could be getting advice on maybe how to travel to you, especially if you're in different countries. Here's the Hermit showing up again. So there's a lot of Virgo energy here. So of course the Hermit comes up with two retreat cards. This card just came off the top of the deck. The Ace of Cups. So again, confirmation that this person really does have a lot of feelings for you. They might always not always go into them and let them feel them, but I feel they're quite aware that they are there. Here's I keep telling myself it's not over. 36 Denial. And for them, the star, you still have a lot of high hopes for this. 43, attraction, I'm drawn to you uncontrollably, wow. Okay, let's get some more details on you, Scorpio. Just turn the space heater up, hold on. Okay, Scorpio, what are you thinking about this person and your connection? Here is earthly power or the four pentacles. So I feel just like this person, you feel you need to keep a lot guarded about yourself. You're still not super comfortable about opening up. And here's the king of swords. And the princess or page of pentacles. Okay, so yeah, I feel like you're mostly not opening up because you're just really afraid of what this person's reaction gonna be is going to be. You don't want to like share your emotions with them just not showing any emotion. That's gonna be, I feel like that's something that's difficult in this connection for you. So Princess of Pentacles, let's clarify this. Here's the devil. I feel like you're really putting some effort into helping this person get over some of their things that patterns that are still holding them back, like helping them to um, kill off some of their demons. Yeah, here's the tower, just like the um, just bringing in this divine light for this person. Okay, you are definitely helping them to like burn off. Like, um, there's a lot of karma. I'm feeling you bring a lot of light into their life. Okay, so what are they thinking about you, Scorpio? Here's the Magician. I feel like they really want to show you what they're made of. So you represent a lot of motivation for them. The Queen of Pentacles. So Queen of Pentacles showing up twice here. And the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, wow. So... 10, 10 here, they really see you as their destined partner, it looks like. And they know that they have to play their part in this. So, but they don't feel like this needs to be pushed or rushed. They really feel like things are going to just work out as they're supposed to. And here's the 10 of cups showing up as well. Wow. 
10, 10, 10. Okay, so what are you feeling about them, Scorpio? Wow. All right, we have oppression, which is the 10 of wands. We have the fool. And we have the hermit. All right, so Scorpio, I'm really feeling like you, this connection is really weighing you down a lot. It could be just the attraction you feel like for this person is, you just feel is too much. So I feel like you have been trying to kind of just do your own thing, break away from um, any expectations on this connection. So with the Hermit here, uh, you both are retreating from one another. So I feel like the reason you're retreating, Scorpio, is so you don't get your hopes up only to have them crashing down. You're trying to kind of like moderate yourself, especially since you're really trying to learn from the past. You're like, I don't want to repeat the same stuff again. So what are they feeling about you, Scorpio? Here's the Ten of Pentacles, another Ten. Oh my gosh, these are like, that's crazy, Ten, Ten, Ten. And another 10. What is going on, you guys? Oh, my goodness. I feel if they could choose between, like, a lot of money and communicating with you um, or just, like, having a friendship connection with you or some kind of connection, whatever their connection is, they would choose that over money because your friendship or the relationship really means a lot to them. Here's the Seven of Swords. And the Two of Cups. So this person's just really hiding, keeping a secret just how much they do feel for you or just how mystified they are by this connection. Um, part of that could be if, if they are in another situation, then, you know, they're afraid of that ending abruptly because they might get their money through that person or something. Here's the Three of Pentacles. I feel like this person is, um, like, going to stay on the up and up. So staying on the, the narrow path. Okay, so what are your intentions toward them, Scorpio? Okay, we have the loss in pleasure, which is the five of cups. And then we have the sun. I feel like you want to keep brightening this person days, days as much as possible, especially since they get maybe sad easily or emotionally easy about or um, easily emotional about something. Okay, here's the nine of pentacles, which is material gain. So yeah, I do feel you Scorpio focusing on yourself for a bit, but still having this connection with this person if that's what you desire. So I feel you are you really are trying to make this person happy though. Okay, so what are their intentions towards you, Scorpio? The lovers. I feel like this person definitely wants you as more than just a friend. The Two of Pentacles. So as they go about their work, I feel they're going to start integrating this truth more and more that you guys are these destined, fated lovers that will make each other so happy. Um, Three of Pentacles. Okay, this makes sense. So they intend right now to really keep integrating you into their life and to start some creative projects that you guys do together. So I feel eventually they want to reveal just their feelings for you, how much um, is really there, how much they appreciate you, how much they just love being around you, even just through text. Okay, so let's see here. What are the main blocks and fears in this connection with you, Scorpio? Oops. Okay, we have um, judgment in reverse. So there could be something that they're afraid to wake up from. Right now they might be very comfortable in their current life. So I feel like destiny is trying to call them, but they're shutting it out to a degree still. It doesn't mean they'll always be like this. Um, but th that's just where they are right now. I feel like once they kind of, um, you have a chance to kind of open up and grow into this, then they're, it's going to go way better. Um, they just don't want to push things or make things go too fast. 
I feel like something kind of shocked them. They got kind of spooked and they're trying to protect themselves and you from anything getting sabotaged between you two. So we're, what are you both thinking about each other, Scorpio? Here's the world. Both of you could really admire what you each do for a career or you just feel like each other is really the whole complete package. Here's the Four of Swords. So even when you guys are apart, retreating, just doing your own thing, I feel like your energy, each of your energies is way too big to ignore. It's like always coming into your space. It's going into their space. So and I feel like that's there to work to like magnetize you guys together. So you don't want to give up on each other. You're definitely not giving up your Scorpio. Okay, what are you both feeling? We have the Three of Wands. Okay, so you do feel like this expansiveness for the future. Looking forward to it. You guys are just really looking forward to all the amazing possibilities together. All right, what might you expect from them in the next week or two, Scorpio? Here's the Ace of Coins. This could be a gift. This could be some kind of offer to just start things on a more solid basis. Four of Wands, all right, more solid. This is about um, celebration and uniting, being complete, feeling complete. So I feel like you've really earned some celebration time here, Scorpio. And then here's the Nine of Coins. So I do feel like this person is going to be really um, taking interest in you here. They're just, they feel like you're a really aligned person, like you really know your value. So this is something very attractive to them. They can't help but just keeping an eye on you with this page of wands here and maybe trying to join in some of the fun. All right, some advice for you now, Scorpio. Oops. Here's embrace your inner divine goddess or God. Okay, meaning just make sure you um, really know your worth and you are um, just embodying like the highest, absolutely highest version of yourself, just whatever you can imagine. Let your imagination just soar. And here is stay away from drama today. I do feel you guys, your person's retreating. I feel like you need that as well. You need to really be able to just um, clear your mind. Okay, what might they say to you, Scorpio? I'm planning on messaging you soon. So much I need to say, especially since I've just been retreating. I feel there's too much competition. So they have a little bit of a self-esteem effect or self-esteem um, issue. Um, I hope you're not with someone else. So yeah, speaking of self-esteem, wow. I'm very attracted to you. I feel like they don't really tell you that. That's what this devil card could be about as well. Just a really intense desire. Don't forget about me. I feel like they've never had a friend who will just really stick it out with them. And here's, I don't trust you. This, or this could be, I don't trust myself. I don't trust um, getting too involved in um, an intimate relationship right now. Your kindness has changed my life. So I do feel like you've profoundly impacted them and are continuing to, continuing to help them transform. They'll continue to help you transform. So what else might I say to you? I don't know what to do. It's all my fault. And we have, um, I desire you. Wow. It's come through a lot in this reading. And my heart belongs to you. Thank you for your beautiful light and energy in my life. So you're really shining here, Scorpio. It's like we're star-crossed lovers. Will we ever make it work? And you feel like the sweetest home I've never known. Wow, so beautiful. Yeah, you're really good at making people feel at home, Scorpio. Here's I want to dance across eternity with you. So this person feels something very special, otherly world, or otherworldly with you for sure. All right, Scorpio, that's all I have for you. I believe if you really liked this reading, really resonated with it, you would probably like the extended reading as well. And that is linked below. 
and um, I appreciate you all so very much and I hope I see you again very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.